Hi everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. I'm sick of doing this random shit. Keep rolling the Keeper, keep rolling the Lost. Never gonna roll Eden, but I don't want to use Eden just in case we accidentally roll an item that we're supposed to get naturally, so let's do something different. We're gonna do a Blue Baby run because I haven't done one for a while. Uh, Blue Baby highly incentivizes not taking deals with the devil in the first place because we generally can't afford them. Uh, I'm on hard mode, I need it. I've just gone from the daily, which I didn't do very well on. I took epic fetus very early on. Spoilers. Um, which, you know, it can be good. Uh, oh, that's completely wrong. My whole conclusion was going to be epic fetus always sucks. That's the airstrike one where you're constantly dropping bombs and everything. I managed to fail to get to boss rush, despite the fact that my tears were extremely powerful bombs. That's because these things are extremely hard to hit with. <laughs> very, very good. Yeah, let's not go in there. Um, what are we here for, though? Crown of light. And pooping on everything. I'm going to look for the item room before I choose to use that battery there. Just waste it on poop, basically. I understand that we could get some decent stuff out of a poop, e.g. spirit hearts, which is probably the main reason that Blue Baby comes with the poop in the first place because there's a tiny, tiny chance of one of these poops paying out with the only HP that Blue Baby can get. But, uh, that's not very interesting. Uh, the poop is boring. Without something like Petrified Poop, which it can also pay out with, which it hasn't. Um, there's a very good reason to use a bomb right here. Get a lot of a bit of a wash, unfortunately, because not only did it not hit any of the enemies, but also it gave me a golden chest, which I can't open and probably don't want to unless I get a Darth, a Darth, uh, the opposite of a Darth, uh, a, a, a Jedi of a, a, of keys, because we don't really want to open that thing if we've got more than enough keys to make it worthwhile. Uh, it didn't unfortunately take a hit, but the thing about Blue Baby is that those hits don't really matter until you start getting Spirit Hearts, because, um, you can't take a deal with the devil until you've gained at least one more, but of course we're not taking deals with the devil anyway, so that hit is not as catastrophic on this run as it could be on uh, future runs. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Blue Baby is just Isaac with Spirit Hearts. And no 56, which is actually a shame. I haven't found the item room yet, so I'm a little bit loath to go and see the boss uh, until we've got something to put on his desk, so to speak. Oh, yeah. So what I did there is I conflated the term boss as in end of level enemy, which is somewhat more difficult, with the term boss as in the person who tells you what the hell to do at work, and demands that you have the report ready by Monday. Let's see if this is the secret room. Ta-da! My chest, and my bomb back, and a key, which I could now use to open this golden chest, and I think I will. The golden chest could contain something of great value. What it did contain is a key back, which makes it completely worthwhile, and some Extra consumables that will be very valuable in the future. We do have five cents, so we could go and buy a spirit heart in the shop. If the shop has a spirit heart in it, which we won't know until we've gone to the shop to find out. Let me put this here and... Uh... Oh, that was actually a really bad bomb. Do another one. I want to open this chest. I'm hoping that golden chest... Yep, yeah, it seems to be turning out okay. Probably not push our luck on that, but variance is as variance does. Uh, I'm kind of hoping for a head item which is what you tend to get out of golden chests. I seem to be incapable of fitting a dip. And plenty of consumables though, and that's really going to help us in the future. And free entry to this item room, which is HP, but that's just a spirit heart, to Blue Baby. Now, I'm not worried about the speed at which we're going. This is only basement one, but we've had a couple of large rooms, which have taken some toll, but at least we have more HP than we started with. Anyway, the conclusion of all this is that don't take epic fetus is basically never good. And that's a bit of an odd conclusion to come to, because Epic Fetus seems like an amazing idea. But not only does it cannibalise any tear effect you could ever have, but, uh, except apparently for Homington. That was just terrible dodging. I was trying to coax Famine into uh, shooting me and it started like, charging, and then I completely neglected to note that there was a shot coming my way. Um, it cannibalizes basically all tear effects. Maybe you get poison tears from it if the thing that you're shooting is a boss and therefore doesn't die immediately. Maybe uh, you get, I don't know, slowing tears for the same reason. Uh, you don't really gain any benefit from homing tears uh, with Epic Fetus because all it does is cause the targeting reticule to home on an enemy. Which means you can't aim it in its most efficient capacity 
i.e. between enemies, in order to get many in its blast radius, so that actually makes it worse. We will get a deal with the devil on the next floor, guaranteed. Um, it has a very slow rate of fire, which means any enemy that is not available for damage, uh, you know, in, in its natural daily business, you know, close for business sort of thing, it, it's very hard to hit, which is probably why I took so long to get to boss rush and therefore failed to do so. Uh, to the mom fight and therefore failed to get to boss rush because several enemies in my way on this day were impossible to hit with epic fetus. We will take mystery sack for the cost of one bomb. It will give us some consumables on the way. Uh, basically hosts and things like that. Things that hide underground. Underground. Under anything. Even things that hide underground. True. Exactly true story. Um, have this inability to be hit by that was excellent unfortunately it's yet another golden chest uh, they're so well equipped against your uh, your epic fetus plays so it's almost impossible to actually feel good about taking epic fetus in the first place and, oh, and that's basically the reason it took me so long to get through that daily and probably why I did so badly in point to score I, I won but still just pop it with them, I'm just saying. No uh, tinted drops on this room, which is mildly upsetting, but what we could do is get our bomb back for this. That'll work. Don't really want to go into the curse room just now. Excuse me? I failed to poop. Blue baby, is there something you need to see a doctor about? That's what we like to see. Do we go into this double key room? I think the answer is generally yes. I would like to re-roll that, if entirely possible, because that is a garbage item too. Uh, it does cost us keys. We have enough keys to open this, and we don't need to spend a key, might as well, to get into the shop, because we now have this trinket that allows us to get in for free. So we can go a little bit more hog wild on our keys than we normally would, and of course, hog wild in this situation is still probably one of the tamest and least entertaining ways of going wild in any respect. We are dropping things where we are, which is kind of annoying. We have to go back and get them. Bloody Penny. Interesting question. Uh, do we want Bloody Penny? I hesitate to say that we did, because it will drop HP that we can't use. I would like to find the shop, but I think we're just going to go straight to the boss first. It's a very annoying double monster. This could actually be a particularly difficult fight, because we have to get around it. Use bombs judiciously, I think. They do have a lot less HP, so if you can get both of them in one powerful shot, you've done pretty well. You're going to have a good time. What? Are you telling me I couldn't fit between Monstro and the side of the room? Unbelievable, Jeff. Right, let's, get, let's get it sorted out. We are guaranteed a deal with the level, which we are guaranteed to not be taking, even if it is Dark Bum. I would like to have taken the Guppy item, but it's not to be. And of course, I would like to have taken... Judas of Shadow, but that is not Judas of Shadow, that is the sneaky upside down Judas of Shadow, which is a pile of shit. Nobody likes you, upside down Judas of Shadow. Go home. Oh, what are you doing? There's fires everywhere. Stop walking into them and shoot them. This is why I always shoot fires on the way past. Because if I don't, I'm going to have a bad time. I'm going to walk into them in the future if I don't kill them on the way through. There's a lot more fires on this. Holy shit, I want to be in that room right now. Right now. I'm going to use this because I'm lazy. That's our shop. We might be able to buy... I don't know. What are we going to buy? Spirit Heart? <laughs> Wouldn't mind. No arcade on this floor for us, which is probably okay without... We can buy an item now, actually. Without um, Red Heart, an arcade is not that useful. And we do, of course, have our donation machine available to us, which is novel, because I've been playing daily so much and they don't have them. So we could if we wanted to. Pop open our donation machine and grab something of great import, but unfortunately, glowing hourglass is not such a thing. But we did take a spirit heart. The spirit heart is going to keep us alive. It could get buy us access to one of these curse rooms, which is honestly not a terrible idea necessarily, because um, they could contain devil items that give us a great advantage, as opposed to devil items that give us no conceivable advantage whatsoever. Uh, but they do cost. Uh, the entry cost is more than I think I can. In the stomach right now. I can't really put forward that much HP for the off chance of getting uh, a decent devil item. Plus the fact that I... What hit me just now? 
There was a third thing that hit me and I have no idea what it was. Was it a bullet? Much as I uh, adore these corn flies, I wish they would fuck right off. I really hate them. I don't know how to control them still. I think they act a little bit like the little haunts. Uh, but I really don't know. So we can't at all afford to go into the curse room right now. That's so tempting. If we can get a teleport card, we might do that. But, uh, I mean, we're halfway towards our goal, which is to not take a deal with the devil. Well, the goal, of course, is to get Crown of Light, but the main thing we can do towards that at this stage, the thing that's most in our power at this stage, a really bad shot, is to just not take a deal with the devil, which is easier done than said when you have no means with which to take it. We didn't have the currency to do so. So it wasn't even tempting. But it was tempting. I mean, uh, Guppy's head at this stage would have been a lot better than Bob's rotten head. Uh, certainly better than the poop. And if we were going to take either of those items, it would have been that one because my shadow is a particularly lame devil item. I mean, I quite like that there are bad devil items, at least worst devil items now. I suppose so. That was a bit of a... bit of a Hail Mary on the, um... on the trying to find... Oh my god, did you see that? I genuinely didn't think it was ready to die. I was going to come round and hit it from the other side with my ball of bandages, protect myself from the shots, and it exploded. It seems to take fewer shots than the, uh... than the non-champion versions. And of course it was a champion, so when it shot me, it hurt like shit. Ooh, this is dangerous. Any spirit hearts, please. We should probably save up our Bob's Rotten Head for, I don't know, boss purposes, perhaps. Anytime when we feel scared. We can't get hit for quite some time. We have no way of regenerating our HP. And I've played really, really badly, which is why we watch. Which is why we're here, right? You're, you're watching me because I play terribly all the time. I'm trying to use my ball of bandages sensibly by, you know, letting it rotate into position and then letting enemies walk into me when it's in position. But honestly, that's not working out for me so well because I don't quite understand its uh, area of effect. These spirit hearts. This is the normal secret room. Not what I expected. So the rib of greed here will prevent um, greed from showing up in shops. So see if this is a locked room and decide whether we want to. It's not. We've been here, so you should know that. Uh, also, this is a free room anyway. Yes, please. Well, that keeps us at least a little bit out of the woods. We might as well take this pill. What's the worst that could happen? Amnesia. Okay, that's fine. Uh, did we find our ice room? Yes, it was shit, but we took it anyway. Go this way. We at least have some protection <laughs> against the boss. Yeah, I don't really understand the... Um, the, the hitbox on our ball of bandages, which is obviously not something you want to admit when you're playing the game for the entertainment of others. It kind of puts you in a situation where you feel like you're supposed to be the expert at this. Uh, really, I'm not. This is why I don't like the, um, the, the scapegoat there, because you never know if the enemy's going to charge at you or at that. I really want to use my ball of bandages, but we definitely cannot afford to. And we're going to get a little Chad, which as Blue Baby is a really, really bad item. It has no value to us whatsoever. Unless we can get Dark Bum through some means besides deal with the devil. That was a terrible one. That was the perfect bomb, though. Making up for it. Uh, we are on Angel Room, so that's good. Please be Spirit Heart's Angel Room. It's the body, which is basically Spirit Heart's Angel Room. Pretty good item. Don't mind it. Uh, not what we're looking for. You know, in this case, beggars are being choosers because honestly, I have worked my ass off, so I'm not entirely convinced I count as a beggar. But you can't really be upset about getting three spirit hearts at the end of the floor where we lost many, many to poor play. Uh, bad luck in a couple of situations, but generally poor play, especially on that champion one of these in the previous floor. Which, you know, is the context we're already in. I don't need to further clarify that we're talking about previous floor. Basically, if you're not sure if it's going to die or not, stop shooting it. Then you will know it's not going to. I'm going to go into this curse room, executive decision. This was a terrible idea. I regret it immensely. 
That means the other two had amazing items. There were two guppy items in the previous ones, I can guarantee it. That was a very good use of ball of bandages, even though I don't recommend it. I just try and keep this at bay, yeah. But... <sighs> Missed completely. Somehow I dodged between those. I'm going to pretend I did it on purpose. I'm going to open this. I've got plenty of money. That's actually really, really good. Maybe it would have been valuable to wait until we had a way out of here or, you know, the Bob's Rotten Head back. Just to get some some damage done to this boss that doesn't involve pacing myself. Oh, come on. So here's the other thing, of course. Uh, excuse me, I was over there when you jumped, so that means you go over there. What is this where it's landing near where I am instead of... See that? You have to wait a couple of seconds or it will follow you. Don't like these new uh, champion enemies at all. Also, I don't like the fact we've not received a single, even stat upgrade. We've got a range upgrade. Brilliant. I'm very pleased to have this range upgrade because of how my range is currently the main problem against this mega fight fight. Not the fact that it's a hugely tanky champion or uh, maybe it's been jumping on our scapegoat actually. That's been, that would make some sense. Look how slowly we're doing this damage. Yeah, we jumped on my scapegoat, didn't it? Jump on it again. The thing is now, my um, ball of bandages is not rotating into a sensible position. We got some good damage done there. I'm happy with that. But this is the first of two bosses. So I don't like these um, enemies that produce fishes. Not fishes. For sure. Um, because, well, mostly, I might actually die to Mega Moor here. Basically, energy. Because. Which because would you like first? Do you want the because of why I don't like enemies with fishes? It's yours. Or do you want the because of why I might die to uh, Mega Moor? Well, the because of fishes is that they're actually very unpredictable. Ooh. Didn't realize you fired that literally straight at my face. Guess scapegoat has helped me out a little bit on this fight at least. Uh, the the fishes don't seem to have predictability going for them whatsoever. Please die. We got through it. Uh, eventually, like you can know how many they're going to produce, and often they will come out like orthogonally. If you're against the gate, for example, there will be four of them, and they'll come out orthogonally to the screen. But after that, <laughs> you know, where do I stand that I can be guaranteed not being hit by this thing? There is no such place. Because they can meander, basically, to cover any spot that you could stand in. Even if you stand in the quadrants that you would expect to be defined by those four fishes, right? Same with that enemy there. First of all, I didn't know where it was going to land. Why am I being hit by these cornflies? I'm not even trying to use my ball of bandages. I'm just not... I'm not stepping back. Step off, man. Um, the reason I thought I would die to that Mega Morm, just die <laughs> way too much, is uh, I thought it was going to be the one that had those very difficult to predict um, curving shots type of thing going on. Secret room. What a fucking, what are the chance of that? Plus it's the worst secret room ever. Uh, oh, great. Well, you know how we decided to get into shops for free instead of guaranteeing those shops do not have greed in them? Which is to say, we took the shop key instead of River Three, And then we went into this shop going, oh my god, a shop. Finally, there will be a spirit heart in here, no doubt. <laughs> we have plenty of money. Well, it turns out that there's greed in here. As soon as you will get even more money, there will be no spirit heart for us to buy therewith. I do not like how many times it just fired at me just now. That at all. Look upgrade, fine, but I've used all my spirit hearts that I got from the end of the last floor, which is probably pretty good that we got them at the end of the last floor, because if we hadn't, ooh, we'd be dead. This is a really difficult floor, and I will go on record saying I think I'm playing okay on this floor, because the enemies that you get on the flooded in caves, that's it, Thank you. Um, are considerably more tanky and very annoying compared to the enemies you get on the normal caves or catacombs. This is the hardest of the three versions of this floor. Which, by the way, used to be a floor with only two versions. So don't even give me plenty of practice because this is afterbirth stuff right here. 
Um, furthermore, we got champion versions of bosses that took absolutely forever. And we haven't had a single damage, we haven't had a DPS upgrade yet in this game. We've had a couple of HP upgrades, which we've then squandered by using HP for what it's for, I guess? Being hit. Can't believe that everything moved out of the way just in time for that to land. Trying to use my ball of bandages sensibly, but mostly I'm impatient, so I'm using it insensibly. Senselessly. It fired when I was walking past. How long was that episode? 20 minutes. That was a 20 minute episode. You're not having another one. I'm not starting again. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this one. It was terrible play. I really got to get ahead in the game. My head ain't in no game, so maybe we'll do Blue Baby again in the next episode. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.